Hi everyone, it's me Divine and welcome to Divine Miracles channel and thank you for joining me for uh, this week's forecast and I'm starting off with the fire signs. So this is for the Leo, Aries and Sagittarius and today I am using the new um, the new Mythic Tarot by Juliet Sharman Burke. Um, this is a newer one than the original one um, which came out in 1980 and then they brought this one out not so long ago. Um, and this one was the one that was talking today needed to come out so here we go this is going to be a very short um, focus for each um, of these the fire signs uh, for today or for this week and uh, so let's see what's coming up for us here we go I'm starting sorry I'm starting off with Leo so I'm focusing on Leo now okay message for Leo okie dokie Uh, two of swords all right so here we go Leo this is the message for this week two of swords and I'll just have a quick um, look at it myself all right okay now see with this particular card um, the person in the middle is generally you okay so this is you and you're not really wanting to hear arguments and stuff that's going around you you don't want to hear any strife you don't want to hear anyone else's drama and it seems that of late that is exactly what you've been getting so maybe i'll put the card up here that is exactly what you've been getting you've been getting everybody else's drama right on top of your shoulders and it's been a bit too much so you're not wanting to hear and you're not wanting to sort of see any of that anymore and if people have got issues you're hoping that they will work it out themselves but in all of that, it's causing you a little bit of inner turmoil because part of you really does, you know, want to help. You know, you want to help everybody and it's difficult for you to turn a blind eye to things. But just for this week, you're just being asked to take a step back and, you know, do just that. Turn a blind eye to things, let people sort things out themselves and you don't always have to be the one that comes in and rescues everybody and everything in their situations. But I also feel that there's going to be a change more towards Thursday of this week where you know things will shift again but up until that point you might notice there's a little bit of this um, you know kind of negativity or emotional upset um, that you really don't want to be a part of um, this week. So just be on the lookout for yourself and make sure that you're taking care of yourself and let everybody else sort of take care of their self uh, this week. So take a step back, all the Leo people. Okay, I know that's hard because I'm a Leo as well. <laughs> okay, so there you go. Um, and now the message for um, Aries. And it's funny because as I was telling you guys that for Leo, I felt so warm in saying that to you all. It just all started to fly out. So Aries, here we go. Message for Aries. Message for Aries. All right. Here we go. And the next one. Okay. Aries. All right. This is a card of, you know, you've been doing a lot of sacrifice um, for other people. Just basically what I was saying there. Um, and, you know, you've been putting yourself last. And it's getting to a point where there's quite a little bit of exhaustion going on within you. But as you can see in the background, there is um, a spirit animal. There's like a spirit messenger, a bird coming through and asking you to remember that you need to ask for help when you need it. You need to seek, you know, spiritual counsel and talk to your guides and talk to your angels um, and also to other people around you who you feel can help in this situation. You've given up a lot. Things have been hanging, you know, it is the hangman, it doesn't mean anything bad. It just means that things have been in a bit of limbo of late. You know, you've been waiting on decisions to be made. You've been waiting, 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 and you're just a little bit fed up. So again, by midweek, Wednesday, um, things should start to shift. Things should start to change for you. And you can see the um, sun in the background um, on the horizon. So everything on that side of the rock is really, really good. But from where you are at the moment, you just don't see that there's a way forward. But there will be and it will be unexpected. And just remember that you are, this is important to, that you know that you are really, really loved and, you know, people are there trying to help you. So don't feel that you have to take everything um, too personally. Just try your best to remain in balance for the rest of the week. Um, you know, let yourself rest when you need to and take notice of how your body is feeling as well. 
So this is the message for Aries. Stay strong, things are changing by Wednesday this week. Okay, Aries, and lastly, Sagittarius. So I do have a tendency to talk a little bit, so <laughs> I'm trying to get through them quickly. But Sagittarius, here we go. Right, uh, let's see what, you know, I just want you to see that I'm choosing it straight away. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, it's upside down. All right, I'm not doing any reversals, by the way. So Sagittarius, you've got the Two of Cups. Okay, so this is a card of uh, coming together. This is two people coming together. But I also see this when, you know, there's been a lot of emotion coming to the surface and perhaps there's been a lot of people that have been telling you exactly what you should and shouldn't be doing. You've been torn between the decisions that you've made. And this is not just talking about love um, decisions, but m for the most part, it's an emotional decision, you know, that you have made and people have been sort of, in your ear about this so this is a card of coming together this is a card of everything coming together everything beginning to work out for you and although the other two um star signs you know towards the middle to the end of the week things were coming together i feel this is coming together pretty well straight away so by tomorrow you'll start to notice a big um change i'm also noticing here that you know the person that is uh, on the rock has looks like it's in a lot of peril you know she's in a lot of um, danger but at, at the same time she's not that particularly worried you know she's aware that she's got support and you know assistance so that's how you're sort of feeling within yourself as well you're not particularly worried you're just wanting things to um, you know come to some sort of closure you're wanting things to um, you know be happy for you and it's going to change trust in the decision that you've made um, everybody else may have a opinion about what you do but you know what that is going to be there no matter what you choose this also could be romance for some people coming together maybe going back with someone that you, you knew from the past or a past lover coming back but I really feel this is more of a decision um, something that you've been wanting to do and you know you're going to start to see the results of that for this week so all in all a really good week uh, for Sagittarius as well so just um, out of curiosity all the fire signs are you know the angel that oversees the fire signs is Archangel Michael so remember to ask for a little bit of protection uh, this week with him and the strength and courage to get through um, the week safely so thank you all for listening and I hope that you enjoyed your little mini forecast and until uh, the next time it's goodbye for now bye everyone